Yo, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing amazing. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through step by step on how to use my updated free tweaking panel. This panel will give you a boost in FPS, lower input delay, and overall smoother gameplay. This product is completely free. So if you noticed any type of performance increase, all I ask is just for you to leave a like and a comment down below. So anyone else watching this video can see the results that other people have gained. Now, to get started, just simply head to our website at stickstweaks.com or with the link on the screen now, and then head to free downloads. Once you're there, I haven't updated this yet, but you'll see version 3.5 and just press download now. Once you have downloaded this file, simply open up the folder, right click on the sticks free utility and run as administrator. Give it a second to open up and then you'll see all your system information. So your, C your Windows version, CPU, RAM, GPU, motherboard, and etc. So to start off, you're going to head over to the miscellaneous page. This is to install your visual C++ redistributables, just different Windows runtimes that some apps or most apps require nowadays to run. Second is a system backup. This will ensure that if anything bad happens throughout this whole video, you have a starting point to revert back to. So you can do that. And third is a file corrupt checker. So if there's any corrupt files on your system, this will scan it and automatically fix them for you. So to start off, let's create a system backup. So just check the switch and then give it a couple seconds. And then it's just created. To check, simply press your Windows key, search up create a restore point, press on your um, C drive or whatever it is, system restore, next. And it should be here, but if it's not like mine is, just press on your C drive, configure, have around 20 gigabytes, press apply, OK, and then to create and name it whatever. So before sticks utility and let this complete. While this is creating, I'm just going to move on to the next steps. So install your visual C++ redistributables. Give this a second and it should say install. But if you already had these installed, it's going to look exactly like mine. So you can just press close. Yes. And then same with corrupt file checker. You can just simply check this and let this run. Next, for the good part, the actual optimizations that will boost your frames, reduce latency, and overall make a smoother gameplay. So, start off your basic window settings, which I'm not going to walk you through each step, but you're just going to check the switch. Then, Windows kernel tweaks. These are different registry changes made to the core of the operating system, the kernel. Memory settings. This is for your RAM. Enable hags or hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. TSC plus TSC without desync, storage disk optimizations, adjusting power settings. Now, if you notice an increase in temperatures or notice stuttering, that type of stuff, just join my Discord server and then ping me in the general chat and I can send you a revert. And then if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can check this and same with a Radeon GPU. But if you, don't, if you simply don't know, just open your task manager, performance, GPU, and you'll see right here. So then scroll down, QoS settings, this is just for Fortnite currently. Disable startup apps. Just simply check this just like that. Head over to log on and uncheck anything that you don't want starting a startup, but you need to leave CMD checked like this. So once you've done that, you can head to schedule tasks and uncheck everything here. And then services, you can uncheck stuff like Brave, Edge, Google Chrome's, or just services that you don't use. So close this out. Disable Hyper-V. This is a little, this is a virtualization technology for Windows that allows you to start up a, a virtual machine or a second system inside of your main one, which most of you guys don't use this, so it's, you can disable this safely. Next, disable Bluetooth. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uninstall useless apps. Disable useless features. Disable Microsoft Store. Disable Windows telemetry and tracking. Disable network power gaining. Ethernet settings. NetBIOS over TCP IP, LM host lookup, and then the same thing for the rest. Adjust audio settings, disable useless devices, and finally, optimizing storage device idle states. Once you've done all of them, or whatever ones you like, you can simply close out this program, and as you can see, my restore point was created, and then just close this out. And just a little disclaimer, if you run this utility again, the switches are going to be unchecked, just because it doesn't save the state of them, but all the tweaks and everything are applied. So to make sure everything actually takes effect, just simply press on your Windows key again, 
and then restart computer for all the changes to take effect. If you would like to unlock your maximum gaming performance out of your system, I'd recommend you to check out our premium tweaking utility. This is our most popular program for many reasons. This gives you the best value for a price to performance with up to a 350 FPS boost, all this type of stuff. So for anyone looking to get to that next level with their gaming experience, this is your go-to option. Now, I want to thank everyone for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.